I'm Jessica Lombard, Associate Superintendent. And I'm Superintendent John Berkey, and this is Huntley 158 Today. Well, Jessica, education sure is changing a lot since uh, we were in school. It's changing a lot since the last, you know, four or five years as well. Oh, it is, and it needs to because, you know, a lot of education, the way we went through it was really built on we call a factory model where students were in neat rows and learned uh, information from their teacher that they had to memorize and it prepared students well for a world of yesterday but not really for a world of tomorrow and so we're really trying to change that in District 158 and one of the places we're really doing that are our blended learning classes which are now being termed our alpha courses. Right and today we have our high school principal Scott Rowe here. Mr. Rowe how are you doing? I'm doing great thank you for having me. Can you start off by just telling us a little bit about your background and how you got to be principal of Huntley High School, where you were at before? And sure. Um, well, originally, you know, originally from Missouri, I, I moved to Illinois 12 years ago, uh, taught and was an administrator in, in McHenry in the two districts there. I uh, was hired as the principal of Marlowe in 2011, and uh, after two years at Marlowe, I uh, came to the high school, and I'm finishing or in the middle of my fourth year at Huntley High School. So, Mr. Rowe, can you describe to us what blended learning is? Sure. Uh, well, blended learning at Huntley High School is really an attack on the traditional school day. Um, where students, the definition of blended is that students have control over the time, pace, place, and or path in which they, uh, they follow to, to accomplish a course or to achieve their education. Um, for years and years and years, the teacher was everything. They were the centerpiece of, um, of a student's class, where they were the deliverer of knowledge. They, um, they were their, their lone resource. Um, with the world of technology and students being as resourceful as they are today, being digital natives, that changes everything. They, they, can, they can accomplish a lot of the same things um, whenever it's most convenient to them. You know, we see a lot of schools um, now changing start times where this is a way that a student can have more control over when they learn, how they learn, um, and where they learn, which as adults, we really value. Um, we've seen it grow tremendously over the, you know, the, the five years that it's been in place. Um, it started as 100 students when I first arrived, um, and as now we have 1,935 students, I believe, um, taking, a, uh, taking a blended course, which is two-thirds of our student population. Uh, many of those students are taking multiple courses. We refer to them as seats, but 1,900 students taking at least one course, yet over 4,600 seats um, are accounted for in our blended learning program. So it's wildly popular by our students. They're, uh, you know, they're taking this and running with it and, and performing quite well. So when we think about the, the blended program, the Alpha courses here, technology plays a role, but it's not that central role in the purpose of blended learning. And when we think about um, our Always initiative, rolling out the Chromebooks, that just recently happened um, with one grade at the end of the school year last year and, and with everybody else this year. So technology um, is relatively new, if you will, with the one-to-one the -one as part of blended, but that's been, Blended's been around for longer than that. What is the central theme or central purpose uh, of Blended and what you hope the students to get out of the courses? Well, I think that the central purpose is, is that you don't have to learn in one singular way, that, that we all learn differently, um, which is why you know, Blended is for some students and for some maybe it's not, not for them. It's for some courses, but maybe not, not all. Um, a student has control over when and how they learn is the, is the central component of, of why Blended is, is successful. And our students that are coming out are reporting an increased level of, um, of confidence in their time management. Uh, they're much more control of, of when and how they learn. Therefore, um, it fits into their life a lot better. Our students today are much more busy, uh, are busier than they have ever been. Um, and so school has to fit into our lives, and it, but at the same time, it shouldn't always control our lives. Um, and our students are able to, um, to tailor when they learn to, to how their life is unfolding. And it's very different, it's, it's individualized. Um, and at the same time, students that have graduated and are reporting back to us are saying they're, they're more prepared for college than their peers um, because they have that control and that time management. The, they're forced to learn how to study and, and meet with their teacher uh, at different times to get what they need because, um, because they don't see them five times a week. We rely so heavily on our teachers when they are in front of us that in a blended platform, you know, our students have m all that control and they learn with a safety net, as we like to say, um, that if they start to stumble, we can pick them up 
and figure out where they, uh, where they went wrong and correct that for them. You mentioned teachers earlier and how their role has changed. Can you talk more about that? Absolutely. You know, I think that, that our teachers, they would, they're uh, reporting to us that, um, that they're finding a different, a different way of connecting with students. And, and both students and teachers are surprisingly reporting an increased connectivity because of communicating in different ways. Where do you see the next few years going with the blended learning? I see all of our students taking advantage of at least one blended course before they graduate. Um, in just six years, we've gone from 100 students to almost 2,000 students taking at least one course. Um, I think it will continue to evolve, and I, I actually think that our students are going to start voting with their feet um, and requesting of their teachers more blended offerings. Uh, we currently offer bl 50 blended courses. Um, I see that number increasing. I see um, eventually getting to a point where we offer a blended course for every traditional course because our ultimate goal is to give students and their families a choice in how they um, how they obtain their education. Because for some math may be a great way to take a blended course, but for some it's not. And some English or social studies is the better way for them. So we really want to create that, that menu of options for students um, that they can tailor their education to their learning style um, and, and their strengths and, and weaknesses to get the support they need throughout high school. Well, Mr. Rowe, the blended program is an excellent program that's allowing uh, students to really tailor their education and really compliment you and the whole high school staff on, uh, on making that transformation. So thank you, thank you for being with us today. And thank you for joining us at Huntley 158 today. If you have questions you'd like answered or future topics you'd like seen discussed on our show, please reach out to us at our District 158 Facebook page or Twitter, hashtag Ask 158. Until next time.